Okay, did you see Hello World? That's great. Next part, what we're going to do now is we're going to explore how you can use inputs. So to do uh, an input here, I could just go input. I'm doing a, it doesn't matter if there's a gap. Then open curve bracket in speech marks. I'm going to ask the question, what is your name? Oops, my keyboard played up there, sorry. What is your name? There we go. Now, if I run that, you see it printed hello world, it's printed what is your name. It's actually still running though, is if I type in there, Mr. I'll use the case, Mr. P. And we actually inputted it. Not much seems to have happened, but it has actually worked. I'll show you again. So if I run this again, okay. Now notice at the top here that we've actually got a stop button has appeared. So it's showing me the program is still running. Before it just went through really quickly, and that's because it's waiting for me to type something in. So. Enter. Now it's finished, the stop button has gone, and we're ready for a play. Now there's not much point doing a uh, input if we don't do anything with it. So I'm going to actually, in the same way that we can use things like, remember in the Python shell we used an X as a variable, and in Scratch and everything else you were using variables, X and Y and score. Well, we're going to do the same here, and we're going to do one to remember your name. So I'm going to call this name. equals, and now input in speech. Okay. Now afterwards, we're going to have a bit more fun, we're going to put a print. Now, in speech marks, I'm going to go hello. I'm going to put a space. Now, I'm going to take my mouse, and I'm going to click the other side of that second speech mark. And now I'm going to do another, oops, but before the bracket, I'm going to do a space, I'm going to do the and. Not the ampersand, but just the and. And now I'm going to use that variable. Maybe I called the variable name. I'm going to type name. There we go. It even remembers it. So this is my new program. Let's hit save. So print, hello world, a variable we've called name, single equals input in speech marks, what is your name? And then print, then in speech marks, hello with a space, speech marks, this plus space, and then name. And if I run that, hello, what is your name? I click down here and I type in here, Mr. P. I press enter. There we go. Hello, Mr. P. Right, I'd like you to try that now. <laughs> 